Hello everybody! In this video, we are going to be revamping Kamado Gaming's Tsunami Bunker. Um, I got this idea because I've seen other, other people doing it, and I figured since Kamado Gaming was the main reason, the main, and as long as they were just were the main reason why I started playing Stormworks in the first place, why not dedicate a video or two to revamping the, his um, old creations and making them better? So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to update the old technology which means the doors um so we're gonna do that let's just make sure we got that okay let's see okay we're gonna update those um just so change those to just sliding doors simple easily done nothing to it okay and then we can just paint these the actual color just change that uh, actual thing there um yep we're just gonna do that we're gonna repaint this so it's back to normal can't exactly paint around completely, but that's that'll be fine. For here, let's just make sure the color is matching as much as possible. There we go. We're also gonna do the same to these doors as well. Let's actually flip that the other way around, just because it'll make it easier. We're gonna delete those buttons; they're not necessary anymore. We're just gonna refill in that paint. There we go. That's that. There's some equipment there. This is the bridge. Let's start from. The actual downstairs portion. So I think we want a way to access the engine room. So, like, or actually have an engine room. I've seen that we got a, a, a decent amount of room in here to do that. So what we're going to do, turn off symmetry. We're going to delete this. Cut a hole out here. Um, how much of this can we delete? Because I know this. Okay, so it's actually not much. But we will definitely do something here. Um... Let's quickly change that to an enclosed. Turn on directional arrows. Oh, I didn't select it that way. Okay. Let's make sure that's sealed up and it's not flooding the entire thing. Okay, good. It isn't. Um, that's that. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a pivot. We're just gonna get um, a robotic pivot, as I usually use in all my doors. Because it's just easier. We invert that. There we go. And now we're just gonna make a door that basically goes like so. We are going to have um, a wedge here, and the reason why is just well, collision issues, we don't want to have that colliding with the stairs. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll put the window back, and with that window in place, actually let me, let's me put that the other way. No, we're going to put that this way, I keep getting, like, I'm, uh, putting these windows in the right direction is something I have, I have no idea why I'm, I'm so wanting to do that, but I do that. It's kind of let's but let's make this a, a two-sided go button. It's probably not necessary, but I'd much rather be safe than sorry. Because what if somebody closes the door on you? <laughs> You're kind of in trouble if that happens. Um, yeah. So we're gonna, we're also gonna put the mic control in here as well. So let's just place this in here. This goes to our button. This goes to our pivot and electricity. I want I want this to be working in advanced mode as well. Um, okay, so that's that. That's, that's, um, those are the basics of what I wanted to do. Oh, no clipping is little. Made a mistake with it. Oh, I teleported it in here. Hold on. That should work. Main issue is it starts open by default. We're going to make that door just a little bit smaller. It's way too big for the, li for the little amount of stuff we actually need here. It doesn't even need to be as tall as it is. So, what we'll just do, let's, let's, um... Grab that, stick that down here instead, delete this, put this on the wall, just bring this down. Maybe we can have that at one more up, and now we're just going to get a, probably like a 2x2. Two two. Yeah, that'll do, that, that'll fit perfectly. There we go. That will fit a, a lot better. Um, with that fitting, that should be good. So let's check how big that door is, because that door is, it's too big, it's going to have some issues. I don't forget, don't need that button anymore. We'll delete that in a bit. So yeah, that door is a lot better in terms of sizing, so we're gonna keep that. While we're on, while we remember, we're gonna also delete these buttons because they're not necessary anymore. No need to make them so confusing. Also up here, that's really disturbing me right now. So we're gonna fix that too. Uh, okay, and didn't turn on the tree. Always remember to turn on symmetry. It's gonna make your life a lot easier if you remember to turn that on. Um, I, I I almost always forget to turn it on. It's very very annoying. 
So that's done. That's done. Do we label any of these? Interior lights. Let's... Yeah, okay. That was already labeled. That's good. Also, we need this to be... Like, can we just change this in my controller? Like, this is something I need to fix in this microcontroller completely. Output value, zero. What happens if we switch that around? Update that. Because I want to fix this microcontroller so that way I don't have to keep switching the button to be defaultly on in order to... So wait. Okay. So that's the solution right there. I just have my values mixed up. Okay. Well, update that real quick. Let's just paint this door. Good job on this door. Alright, so we're going to update this now. Just so we don't forget. So this is how it should be. If you want to build this microcontroller yourself, the con the first you're gonna need um you need two values in the logic properties. It's gonna be your on and off, which is gonna go to your button or the way you have controlling the door, and the number is gonna go the number output is gonna go to your your um, pivot. So you're gonna need a on and off input and a number output. Then you're gonna need two constant numbers: your button logic, your numerical switch box and your pivot output. Your first constant number is going to be a 1 and that's going to go into the first value on a numerical switch box. The constant, the second constant number is going to be a 0 and that's going to go to your second value off and then your button logic node is going to go to your switch signal on your numerical switch box. Then the output of that numerical switch box well, the switch value is going to go into your pivot node. So let's save this as our door microcontroller. That should be good. There we go. I think we should also revamp some of these rooms. So we got this whole camera thing in here. He put the monitor upside down. Uh, he put the monitor upside down. I don't know why. But it's upside down. This is OB's room. We're probably going to change that into something else. Because... I, I just noticed he put these monitors and cameras upside down as well. <laughs> um, anyways, here's the bridge. The bridge can pretty much stay as it is. There's not really need to be anything changed here. Except maybe a little bit of a, some paint. That's about it. So let's go into here. We're just going to focus on making this a medical bay. Um, we can have these cameras, but I just don't see the need for cameras, like maybe like, if you're on the bottom of the ocean, but you already have like 360 degrees of vision through the windows. Um, and also we don't need these solar panels. Solar panels are trash in this game. They don't, they don't actually like give you any power. So we're just gonna replace these with windows instead. Um, that'll just, that'll just work better if we have them as windows because then at least then, actually we want those to be blue, don't we? Yeah, that's what, no, that's just to be black. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, and we're just gonna put these in, like, so we might have to repaint some of that later. But yeah, we're just gonna replace these with windows, because solar panels don't do much anyways. So there's not really a point in wasting space on them. Commander did, did a really good job with this overhang window, I, I really like it. Uh, okay, so that's, that's good. So yeah, there's not really a need for cameras, in my opinion. I think it's just a waste of electricity. So let's get rid of these and let's just focus on making this uh wait does that does that camera actually does that monitor actually work and like display stuff properly? Because it's upside down. It's open in here. I, I I tried the same for I tried the same pro oh symmetry is off. Oh my goodness. I I tried the same project before and I kept having issues with like flooding and stuff like that. Um I kept saying Komodo I like I kept saying to myself that what I'm going to creation. It, it's not sure he made a good creation. I just, <laughs> um, I just didn't, I just didn't know there was leaks that I made it. I, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't recognize the fact that I had put some, I'd left some holes in the thing and it kept, that's why I kept thinking. Come on, I did actually a very good job with this. So that was completely my fault. Anyways, that should be floating now, right? Yes, it is. And that monitor, should be working. Let's try it. Um, there's no, there's no actual value going to it. Um, I think this creation might have gotten broken over time. No composite. It's electricity. The video. Oh, the video is just not connected. Okay, that's fine. We can get rid of. We're deleting all of this anyway, so 
doesn't matter. We're also deleting all this as well. So here, this is gonna be a main bay. Right, we'll put a we'll stick a seat in here. Um, we'll just get a a passenger seat. It doesn't really need to be anything else. We'll do this the same red as here. No, we'll do it darker. Right, just so you can sit with the patient. Right. Um, on the on the on the wall are this. Yeah, all right, all right, eh. Let's get a defibrillator. You know, stuff you typically would have. Make it green because defibrillators are green in real life. Put that down there and easy to reach the person so they can use it. Um, we're gonna need an aid kit. First aid kit, which is gonna just be regular color. And that's that. Yeah, this, I see why I can add added channel. This room's very empty. There's not much you can really put for a, a medical bay in here. Small pitchable propeller. When did they add this? I actually have no idea when they added this. It was probably an update ago, and I just didn't read the patch notes. Um, I'm not making a video on that. Yeah, oh, it's the updates probably several weeks ago at this point. Um, I didn't know they added that. I kind of miss the Titan propeller, though. I really wanted to use that. We can add a fan in here. I have no idea why. Like, I, I had this idea before, like, to add a fan. But, <laughs> you can do it. I mean, you can use an asthma thruster. You can rotate it correctly. Um, let's get this mind. Um, let's just stick it on the ceiling. Um, I'm not gonna make a whole big deal about ensuring it rotates or anything like that. But we do need a pipe, at least, or, a, or like one block room. I remember just in one of my creations, I did this because I was just bored one day. I had no idea what else to put, so I decided to just make a fan. <laughs> there we go. Um, the, the electricity is gonna go here the oh i mean i guess we can have one in both rooms too um let's just delete all that i guess we can have one in both rooms too now we're gonna get an on a constant on signal this no that's not gonna no they don't work off an on signal we need a constant number pardon me only one stick that here that's out to both no values for the propeller asthma thruster it's not on Yes, because we didn't set the, the we didn't set the constant number. Yeah, so you can hear that. Oh my goodness, I am so, so why is my screen like this? Um sorry about that. <laughs> I just realized the the this the stream is not being like the stream was not fit at all. I have no idea how that happened. It it was fitting fine when I started recording. Um I, fi I fixed that. There you go. Um sorry. <laughs> But that's obviously working because we can hear it working. Don't stick your face in it. I won't. I won't. I'll follow my own advice. All right. Since we don't need those cameras anymore. We can get rid of that gimbal camera and repaint that. We can also just place another horn here. It won't work or anything. It's just. Well, actually, no. This can be us. No, there's already spotlights. So um, that's the worst alignment I have ever done. There we go. I mean, is there anything better we could put? Like, we could put a radar, but what's the use in that, right? Now what I think we need is, like, a depth sensor, and then that's pretty much what we're, we're going to leave it off. Uh, another thing we need, a we want, um, a distance sensor. We don't need a laser distance sensor, we'll just get a regular one. I know the laser di distance sensor does something, but I don't actually know what it does, so. Um, where's, the, okay, here's the bridge. Battery, temperature, RPS, nothing important. We'll label this. Displays. Actually, we don't even need this button. Um, I just prefer to attach these up to a constant on signal. Because with a constant on signal, it makes it, you just don't have to turn it on. It's always on. Sure, it might always be taking up electricity, but when you get a generator, it doesn't really matter. So just took it up to a constant on signal. Save yourself a bit. Pain. Because you're, gonna, you're definitely going to forget to turn it on when you need it most. Trust me, I know. Um, okay, that's on. That's good. And here we'll just make it a distance to C4. Minimum value, zero. Maximum value, I have no idea. We'll just put two. <laughs> we'll label this as compass. Uh, no, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's give me the starter. Clutch, throttle. I'm going to do everyone a favor because who actually uses... Well, he did hook something up for like the tank track system. I think this is for like the generator. Um, I have no idea. I haven't I haven't watched those videos in a long time. Um, we'll just get rid of the clutch and see what happens because I don't think we actually need 
to be to like I don't think we need a clutch for that. Throttle. Wait. Did that? Wait. Okay. Throttle. That's just gonna. I have, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. That's fine. What does this go to? The amount of electrical generation equals the throttle on the engine. What? On the. Does this does this thing even work? Am I on the right creation? I might not be on the right creation. Hold on. That starts with tracks. I am so confused. Um, okay, let's just overwrite that because that's obviously not working anymore. Anyways, I might have to. I might have just broken this entire thing. Um, oh well. We'll deal with the consequences later. There we go. That's good. Okay. Let's also just hook this up to that, and we'll also. Hook both these up to the pantry. Yeah, let's gonna wrap it up. See ya, bye.